Hey everybody! If you don't know me, I'm Chef John Bielfus in Owasso, Michigan. Like, in the middle of the winter! Very, very cold right now, but anyway, okay, so here we go. I have a great recipe for, I know I always say that, but I do have a great recipe. Last couple months I've been trying to revisit my Asian food skills and doing a lot of Japanese, Chinese, uh, Thai, a lot of different cooking, but really got back into Japanese cooking and I discovered a dish that I'd never made before and it's awesome. Like, we're living at it. Awesome. It's so good. So I got to show you how to make it and it's the easiest thing to make in the world. We're going to make today a Japanese beef curry. Let's get right at it. So believe it or not, this is everything you're going to need to make this fabulous. It's like beef stew, Japanese style, but with Japanese curry. Two brands of this uh, curry mix that are commonly on the market. This is called Golden Curry. I like the medium hot. Now, compared to any kind of Indian curry or other curries, Thai curries that you may be familiar with, this is really mild. And even their medium hot is very little heat to it. Now, uh, Morimoto, who I've been reading his book, which is excellent, uh, recommends this Vermont curry. I've been using the Golden Curry because it's by S&B, and I've been a long fan of s and products. So today I'm going to make it with my s and You might want to try Vermont curry according to Morimoto. Uh, I mean, who's he on Japanese food? I've got a top sirloin here that was pretty fatty and that's really what you want. Uh, this is two carrots that I've uh, roll cut. You can just cut them into coins if you'd like. And this is about 15 of those mini potatoes. You could use an equal amount of any kind of Yukon gold potato or russet potato, but I had all these little mini potatoes and that's what we're going to use today. So let's get at it. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm just melting a little butter. I'm going to go ahead and add our beef. And we're, we're just going to want to cook this beef until there's, until we can't see any more red. Now this has been about five minutes. I've got most of the pink out of that. I'm just going to top this about six cups of water. We can adjust that later. We're going to bring this up to a boil. And now this has come up to a nice strong simmer boil. And I'm just going to put a top on it. I'm going to leave a little bit for it to evaporate. And I'm going to turn it down to medium low and let it simmer for about an hour. So on these curry mixes, the Golden Curry from s and B. I've seen this now in just regular grocery stores. You can find it anywhere. I haven't seen the Vermont Curry in our grocery stores. Um, I go to an Asian market in Lansing, Michigan near us at least once a week, if not twice a week. The, everything is just awesome. The produce is fresh. It's just awesome. They have the Golden Curry, which is what we've been using all the time. It's just awesome. They have uh, that at my local Kroger's here, so none of this is hard to find. So like I said, lately I've just been obsessed with Japanese cooking. This is a great cookbook. So this has been an hour now. I've checked the meat. It's not quite done yet, which is exactly where I want it right now, as I put in my potatoes and my carrots. And I've brought this back up to the simmer. I'm going to put the top back on and let it simmer for about 20 minutes just until those carrots and potatoes are nice and tender. So this has been about 20 minutes now and the carrots and potatoes are nice and tender. I'm going to add our curry cubes. I'm adding about eight of them. It makes a lot of sauce, but we like a lot of sauce. We're going to stir this for a few minutes and it'll start to thicken up. And you can see when this comes up to the boil, it starts to thicken up. And I'm just going to turn it down to a low simmer and let it simmer for about another 10 minutes. So I just added two more cubes of the Japanese curry mix just to thicken it up a little bit more. This is about six cups of water, maybe seven. There's 10 total cubes of Japanese curry to this six cups of water and these ingredients to get the right consistency. Now this is ready to be served. I'm going to plate it up, show you how we plate it. Two main ways that uh, this is served. One over white rice, which is what I'm going to do today. Sometimes over udon noodles. But I'm going to serve it over rice and we'll get a good picture for you. Well, there you go. Another exciting 
well, you know, semi-exciting episode of Scratch Cook with John. Thanks for coming back. I hope everybody had a nice holiday. I didn't make any videos over the last three weeks because I was cooking for everybody else. But happy 2024, and let's make a lot of great food together.